Hello everyone, this is Terry, also known as Not a Sin Jesus, which means nothing without Jesus, because that truly is who and what I am. This is Food for the Soul Presents, and I am your host for the Lost World. This is not going to be a long video. I have an urgent message, um, something that I need to share with you, and I need to share it right now. I had a very powerful experience early this morning, and I really strongly believe that the Lord wants me to share it with you. Let me first say I'm not a prophet. I am not a preacher. I am just Terry. Um, and I've been having these experiences that just shake me to my core a lot lately. But this one was a little bit different. I truly feel that um, God was allowing me to experience some of the intensity of the spiritual warfare that's happening in the earth right now, as well as what is to come. And he's wanting us to pray. Because when I experienced it, that's all I could do was pray. And I literally prayed for everything and everyone that I could think of. So I am urging you right now, we need to be praying. Many times I've shared the scripture, 2 Chronicles 7, 14. If my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways and seek my face. Then I will hear from heaven, forgive their sins and heal their land. That's what we need to be doing. And we need to be doing it not now, but right now. Right now we are so divided. Everybody's arguing and bickering with one another. We're at each other's throats. And that's exactly where Satan wants us to be because he knows a kingdom divided against itself cannot stand. So he has us right where he wants us as long as we're arguing and bickering, murmuring and disputing with one another. He has us right where he wants us to be. And God is sending a warning to us right now that we need to not lean to our own understanding because there are many of us that think we know exactly what's going on. We think we're right about all of those that are doing whatever it is that we think that they're doing. But there are many of us that are very deceived. And so we need to stop, drop and pray without ceasing humble ourselves stop concerning yourselves about who's wrong and who's right let's just pray let's get down on our knees and pray mightily before the father this experience shook me to the core and many of the experiences that i've had do that but this one was very different i was laying in the bed and I could not go back to sleep. I had laid down and I could not sleep. And I was tossing and turning. My spirit was just so shook. And it was just like the spirit of God was saying, pray, just pray, just pray. So I began praying and I prayed for everything I could think of. And then at one point I started feeling this shaking. And that's the only way I can describe it, but it was like this power had come into the room. And I, I knew that it was just a little, um, a little bit of the intensity of the spiritual warfare that's in the earth right now, and that is coming. And it was, it was so intense, and it scared me because if you can just imagine being in the presence of God, being in the presence of total power and and glory and majesty, and it was just. It's really hard to describe, but I, I literally opened my mouth and I said, okay, Lord, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Because I was getting like, what's going on? And I knew in my heart that he was just showing me, this is what's coming. This is what's coming. And I'm only giving you a little bit. Pray. Pray. Humble yourselves and pray. Stop arguing with one another. Stop fighting and bickering with one another. This has never been about black against white, Republican against Democrat, gay against straight, and the list goes on and on and on. This has always been about the enemy working very hard to divide us because a kingdom divided against itself cannot stand. And in order to destroy as many humans as he can possibly destroy, because that's what he wants to do. You may be mad at your brother, your sister, your cousin, your coworker, whatever, or the president of the United States. You could be really mad at all of them, but all you are doing is feeding into his plan because what he wants, no matter who it is, is to destroy every single human being that he can possibly destroy. That's what he does. He walks around seeking whom he may devour. So we need to stop and we need to pray. We need to humble ourselves. We need to turn from our wicked ways. We need to seek the face of God and pray. And that's the message that I have. That's what I got from the experience I had that I needed to share with you. And I'm hoping that you'll heed the word 
2 Chronicles 7, 14. Also, 2 Corinthians 10, 3 through 5, as well as Ephesians 6 and 12, which says, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against uh, 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 um, the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. If you're fighting with a man, you're in the wrong fight and you're going to be consumed. It is time to stop and pray. That's all I got for you all. I love you so much. I hope you hear these words and that you take heed to them and you begin to pray and fast and seek the face of God.